Hello to all the parents of the next generation. It's Megan Barella here, your positive parenting and happy home guide. We're here today to help you redefine and reconceptualize chores as contributions in your family. So if you are catching the replay, do hashtag replay and say hello. To get started, I want you to think about two things. One, when I say the word chores, what are the words, the connotations that come to mind and drop those in the comments below. And two, think about your childhood experiences, family of origin experience with chores. So what do you think about when you hear the word chores and your childhood experiences? And we'll circle back around to that in just a moment. Want to let you know, two opportunities, if you enjoy this training and you like the perspective that I'm talking about parenting from, do join us for the hot complimentary Happy Home Week. Even if you've gone through the training before, this is a little different. It's shorter, it's self-paced, it's all free, complimentary, positive parenting empowerment for your family that also includes one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. The value, I, I run it like a paid program, and if I put a price tag on it, it would be $333, and it's totally complimentary for your family. The summer session is only available to through July 31st, so the comments should be here around this live, so you can click that link and register. Second of all, helping families develop their contribution plan it's one of my absolute favorite things to do. I usually only do it as part of Happy Home Coaching, which those packages start at $2,500. But the summer, in my opinion, is the best time to work on the contributions plan for your family. So what I did is I set aside a couple contributions planning sessions for your family. Um, that link to register as well, they're 45 minutes. I'm going to take you through the contributions planning process, and then you'll go away with an individualized and customized plan for your family, and that's 111. Okay, so let's circle back around. You've got your definition of chores, and when I hear the word chore, right, I think, oh, that's a chore, like it's a burden, it's a negative, it has all this like heavy negative energy. And also, I wanted you to think about what was your relationship with chores as a child, because that's gonna influence our parenting around chores and contributions in that subconscious realm. And we wanna just honor whatever your, experience, your lived experiences with chores, um, what that was in your family. In positive discipline, we actually don't call chores chores, we call them contributions. Contribution is something that contributes to the advancement of something. So I want you to think about a contribution, right? That energy that every child, no matter their age, they can contribute to the advancement of the family. And I don't know about you, but that just feels more uplifting and more inspiring. Second of all, understand where we are with the scientific brain, brain um, science uh, and research. For decades, we thought that praise developed self-esteem in children. And this is something we talk about a lot in positive discipline. Well, come to find out when we really now have the, the scientific research backing it, praise does not develop self-esteem in children. What does? Mastery of life skills. When our children learn how to do something, when they master a life skill, that's what creates their positive sense of self, their confidence, their empowerment, and their self-esteem. So contributions or chores in your family, it's not, I, I want you to honor the challenges and schedule the contributions plan if that's gonna be helpful. But really, a contribution is this amazing gift for your child, your children, to contribute to the advancement of your family as a way to master life skills and to develop their self-esteem. With younger children, I also look at contributions as part of quality time and connection, and that's something we'll build out for you in your contributions planning session. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do when we're talking about chores and contributions with our kids is we want to honor the negative associations we have about them 
and then really open the door to contributions as this positive, as this place of empowerment for you and your children. Looking from there, what do we look at when we're rolling out a contributions plan and how do I work with parents in one-on-one -on -one coaching? One, we, we have to honor the role of stress in your family. If you have a lot of unmet basic needs, a lot of high emotions, emotional dysregulation, that's your priority in your family right now, is stabilizing that, meeting those basic needs. And contributions and the empowerment piece, that's gonna come later. In Happy Home, I talk about you've got this foundation of connection, positive relationship with yourself, with your children, your base, basic needs, this foundation of healthy emotional development and expression. On top of that sits the foundation for empowerment. And life skills development, contributions are part of that empowerment piece. So if your family is in acute stress right now, you can listen to this training, but it's, it's not the time to focus on contributions in your family. So I hope that this was helpful today. I want you to honor your childhood experiences. Also honor the negative association most of us have with the word chores and see if you can shift this idea into contributions into your children contributing to the advancement of their family, right, of your family, and contributions as life skills development. Mastering life skills as the foundation for self-esteem development in your kids. And if you have young children, that contributions are also gonna be part of your quality time, which is not something we usually think about. It's gonna be part of your fun. It's gonna be part of your connection and positive relationship with your kids. I do work, if you're listening and you do have teens and you're like, ah, like we really, chores and contributions are a struggle. Just know I understand um, and it's, ne it's never too late. It's never too late to develop a positive contributions plan in your family. So if you liked this perspective, join us for the complimentary Happy Home Week, the shorter self-paced version. It's only available through July 31st. It includes a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me. And if you want to build out the contributions plan for your family, I have a special way to do that this summer because summer is my favorite time to work on contributions. Um, and that's a 45-minute contributions planning session. Both those links should be around this email. And if you are working on contributions in your family, um, please do share how it's going in the comments below or send me a message and I can provide some individualized support. Oh, and what I wanna share. So in the contributions planning session, what we'll do is we'll go through, you know, we'll talk about self-esteem in your family, empowerment and quality time. But then we get super specific to build out the plan. We talk about the ages and developmental stages and temperament dynamics of your children and the temperament relationship with you and your kids. We talk about what are your kids already doing? What are they doing consistently? Or what are they doing sometimes? And then how can we build the regularity piece around that? And then how are you gonna actually roll out this plan? What's the communication piece gonna be like? And what are the specific specific best practices for communication based on the ages, developmental stages, and temperament of your children, how you're going to communicate and roll out this plan. So I'm sending all the best, lots of love and support, and holding that vision for contributions as the advancement in your family, as mastery of life skills and self-esteem development and as quality time and connection. Take good care and I'll see you again.